Hello guys, welcome to Bing Engineers. In this video, I will show you how to make your own Arduino Uno in a breadboard. In recent days, I am getting a lot of queries on how to make your own Arduino Uno using the Atmega chip. So, I will be using this, this chip only. This is the normal Arduino Uno chip that is the Atmega 328PU chip. So, I will be using this, this chip in a breadboard to make my own Arduino Uno. And to verify that the Arduino Uno has been completed successfully, so I already uploaded a code in this IC previously so that the blink sketch that is given in the example of the Arduino IDE I have uploaded the code here previously so if I connect the adapter and if I connect it with a power source you can see the LED is blinking and i have uploaded the sketch that is the blink sketch and i have changed the delay from one second to 0 0.1 second you can see the led of at pin 13 is blinking so when i will be putting this ic in a breadboard so after the completion of the making of my own arduino uno when i will be connecting a led to pin 13 the led will glow for 0 0.1 second and it will be low for 0 0.1 second and again it will glow for 0 0.1 second i will take out this ic now and it will put i will put this in the breadboard so this is the ic this is the ic that i removed just from the arduino uno and to make this arduino uno of your own in a bread you will be needing these components so first of all will be the main controller that is the atmega 328 ppu chip Next, there will be a breadboard. Obviously, you will need two ceramic capacitors of 22 picofarad. Next, there will be this voltage regulator that is the 7805 voltage regulator that will convert the 9 volt coming out of the battery to the 5 volt that will go into the VC of the Atmega chip. Next, there will be a 10k register that will be connected to the pin 1 to as a pull up register to 5 volt. Next, there will be a 100 ohm register with the LED that will be connected to the pin 13 then you will need a simple push button as a reset switch that will be connected to pin 1 and the other side will be connected to ground then you need two electrolytic capacitors of 2.2 microfarad or 10 microfarad doesn't matter and at last you will need a lot of breadboard hookup wires to hook up the whole IC with the components in the breadboard So to start off, first of all put the Atmega IC in a proper place in the breadboard. Make sure that all the IC pins are inserted correctly in the breadboard holes. Put the voltage regulator at the side. Connect the bus capacitors. Connect pin 8 with pin 22. Connect pin 7 with pin 20. Connect the 100 ohm register to pin 19. And the other side will be connected to the positive lead of the battery. Now connect the push button to pin 1. Connect the 10k ohm register between pin 7 and pin 1. Connect the other side of the push button to pin 8 of that mega chip. Connect this crystal oscillator between pin 9 and pin 10. Now connect these 22 picofarad capacitors between the pin 10 and the bottom rail of the breadboard. Now connect the second pick of 22 pick of white capacitors in the same way between pin 9 and the bottom rail of the breadboard. Now connect the negative lead of the LED to the same rail that was used for the capacitors. So the circuit is almost complete. Now we have to give the power. Mostly the main part is done. 
so what will be connecting is the uh, 9 volt battery will be connected here in this regulator and the 5 volt will come out and will go to this red wire and the one other will come and will go to this down rail so now i have connected the battery this 9 volt battery with the 5 volt voltage regulator and these are the two wires of 5 volt and ground the violet one is the 5 volt and the gray one is the ground so i'll be connecting the ground to the bottom rail of this breadboard done and now i'll be connecting the 5 volt to the positive rail of this breadboard so now you can see the led is glowing here and I, as I program the IC that the LED will glow for 0 0.1 second it will be off, off for 0 0.1 second and this will happen in infinite loop so this is happening here the blue LED is on for 0 0.1 second that is 100 millisecond and it, it is getting low the 13 pin is getting low so the LED is getting off and again after 100 millisecond the LED is getting high and it is low, getting low after taking 100 millisecond to give you a better look let me decrease the light actually So this is how you can make your own Arduino on a breadboard. So these are the digital pins here are the analog pins here in the digital pins again. So you could connect whatever you want in this breadboard and it will work absolutely same as it should work in Arduino Uno. If you face any problem first troubleshoot will be remove the capacitors from the crystal oscillator and reset the IC. So I hope you have learned something new in this video and you have and you can now make your own Arduino Uno in a breadboard. So that's it in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I show you how to make a full PCB like Arduino Uno from this schematic and from this concept actually. Stay tuned for the next video that will be coming in some days. And, and don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. All the social media links are given in the description box below. Till then, bye and take care.